Hello everybody, here is Olga with the analysis of the astrological aspects for the upcoming week from March the 20th until March the 26th. Well, the most important astrological event of the week and of the year will be the ingression of the Sun into the sign of uh, Aries, the first sign of the zodiac, which will mark the beginning of a new astrological year. So I am wishing Happy New Year to everybody and happy birthday to Aries. Now, what is important to know here? Um, actually, this stellium in Aries that has been already formed since we have Venus, Mercury and Uranus in this sign will be intensified by the energy of the Sun, which will add dynamics to our affairs, even though the following tendency will be observed the desire to get a quick result and the insufficient evaluation of circumstances. These are good news, the beginning of a new year, but we have to talk about negative aspects of the week. And actually the period from March the 21st until the 29th promises to be difficult because at the time we will observe the configuration of the aspects, the so-called so T-square involving Mercury Uranus, Pluto and Jupiter. Let's recall quickly what is a T-square. This is a configuration of astrological planetary aspects which contains uh, an opposition between two planets and two squares between these two planets and another one, the third on the top, and which gives us in the end the uh, figure of triangle. In our case we talk about the opposition of Jupiter in Libra to Mercury-Uranus in conjunction in Aries and the third planet is Pluto in Capricorn on the top. What impact uh, can uh, uh, have this configuration on us during the next week? Well, uh, there may be occasions for loud public discussions and disputes because Mercury in square to Pluto speaks the language of ultimatums and in conjunction with Uranus brings shocking news. Uh, scandals associated with the actions of politicians are possible, for example, and in the mass media, this is a time of a uh, new wave of active propaganda. What is the best behavior for us to keep to? We should not let ideological stereotypes influence our understanding of life and circumstances, but rather, we have rather uh, to look for alternative sources of information. This is also the time of uh, when former agreements, treaties, diplomatic relations between some countries may be even broken. We all remember that Venus continues its retrograde phase in areas, and let's remind us, uh, ret let's let's uh, underline once again what is the importance of the period of retro Venus for all types of relationships, both personal and business. Well, the uh, problems accumulated in the past in our relationships will be reviewed and resolved. Firstly, we can see the return to past attachments or people from the past will themselves appear in our lives. In other words, we may see the return of those who we once loved or simply who, uh, of, of those who we simply had sympathy for. Secondly, it's also the time when we can try again what and where we have failed before. Thus, Retro Venus proposes us to re-evaluate re the past experience and to make conclusions that will be useful for the future, so as not to repeat the mistakes of the past when choosing a new direction. Uh, however, the period of Venus retrograde is associated with certain limitations that need to be taken into account. What are they? Uh, all spheres of life that are related to Venus will be in a period of reassessment, in a state of imbalance and change. These are the spheres of business in the beauty industry, fashion, design, arts, show business, uh, the new things that seem necessary and promising during Venus retrograde will reveal later with time the miscalculations, different miscalculations uh, made in the past and will appear in a different light. 
Therefore, during Venus retrograde, we should not start new projects in the fields of Venus just mentioned above. Neither the relationships that, uh, that we expect to be stable and reliable in the future. This applies primarily to romantic relationships, marriage and uh, engagements, business partnerships, as well as to signing agreements of long-term cooperation with new partners. Uh, this is also an unfavorable moment for investments, major purchases, loans, big financial investments, for the purchase of art and luxury goods. Um, I already mentioned the T-square that will uh, be formed uh, this week, the next week. Uh, but it, this T-square is already, has been already formed by slow planets, Jupiter in opposition to Uranus and in square, the both of them in square to Pluto. Uh, since Mercury is getting closer to Uranus, um, and its transit is rather fast, at the moment of its exact conjunction with Uranus and at the moment of its opposition to Jupiter, which is logical, Mercury will accentuate, will um, activate the T-square, and I would like now to point out uh, the impact of the accurate aspects of Mercury, which are uh, square with Pluto on March 24th, and at the same time, its opposition to Jupiter, and its uh, conjunction with Uranus uh, on the 26th. What do these exact aspects bring to us? Because we have to uh, pay attention to these particular days during the accurate aspects of Mercury. In terms of positive meaning, which exists still, <laughs> This is the time of insights, all kinds of insights. These aspects accelerate mental work, uh, bring extraordinary solutions, important discoveries. This is also the time for, um, of sudden encounters, unexpected visits, uh, communication with old friends, intense contacts. This is a good time to get into the heart of things for investigation and research. But since these are tense aspects, difficult aspects, the squares and the positions, uh, we risk to be victim of psychological, nervous, and mental overcharges. Uh, which means that these days we may expect complications in relationships, unforeseen situations, quarrels, unpleasant surprises and news, changes in circumstances and or scenarios. Hence, dissolution of agreements and also things can go the way we, are, the way we are not planned that we, and that we were not expected them to happen. Uh, uh, there, is a, there will be also a definite tendency to, for us to overestimate our capabilities and to underestimate the competitors and difficulties, to make radical conclusions and to take reckless decisions without thinking about consequences. It is very important, it is necessary not to succumb during these days to uh, to succumb to various provocations, not to impose our opinion on others. We should rather take into account the partner's position and before to mm -hmm. slam the door, it is worth taking a break and cooling down because after a breakup, if it happens, it will be almost inimaginable to come up to the reconciliation. And Another very important detail is that this T-square will primarily affect the personal affairs of those who have in their birth chart planets in the 19th, from the 19th to the 23rd degree of cardinal signs, of the cardinal signs Libra, Aries, Capricorn, and Cancer. All right, what next? What are the next major aspects of the week? On Saturday, March 25th, the sun that has already will, will enter by the, this time uh, Aries will conjunct, conjunct, will create conjunctions, will form conjunctions with the retro Venus in Aries, and the impact of this aspect will be uh, felt from March 22nd to 28th. This will be another fruitful period for all those who are engaged in creativity, for musicians, dancers, poets. Uh, uh, the postponed ideas, for example, in the past, 
could get a new life and unfinished works can find their final form. And in relationships, in relationships with other people and with the world, this is the time of awareness when we define what is valuable to us and what is ephemeral. This is also the time, the conjunction of uh, Venus with the Sun uh, for romantism, when sudden affection or the love from the first sight are possible. But as it was said before, any new relationship started at this time during Venus retrograde will be unreliable and temporary. Although I admit that the temptation or the need to restore former emotional ties to return to or to make return the former lover will be very strong. Um, it is better to devote this time to those who are already close to us and to try to improve existing relationships. It is also good to direct our passion to the beautiful sides of life, to visit theaters, expositions, concerts. Uh, now, what about the moon of its phase and uh, the transit of the moon by the signs of the zodiac? We should not forget that this week we are passing by the last quarter of the moon phase. Uh, the moon is waning uh, because the new moon in Aries is expected for the next Tuesday, March 28th. During this last phase of the moon, all cleaning procedures and the elimination of toxins and kidney stones are effective and um, it will be also easier to get rid of excess weight during these days. Since we observe the slowing of every function as physical energy is decreasing and mood is deteriorating, it is the time to rest before the beginning of a new lunar month and not to, uh, it's not time to start new projects. Uh, now what about the moon in signs? The moon will be in Capricorn from Monday the 20th until evening on Wednesday 22nd. And uh, these days the emotional background is the most stable when we behave with the dignity but a little bit detached. Uh, the perception of life will be serious and we will not understand other people's humor and their jokes. But this transit can also be manifested by emotional coldness towards other people, by indifference. Uh, in the extreme cases by manipulation of the feelings of others. And if you want to work on ourselves during this transit of the moon, uh, it is, it's very important to get rid of all our sorrow and sadness that we have accumulated in our soul uh, to let go fears and depression. Then the moon passes to Aquarius uh, from the evening of the 22nd and until the morning of the 25th of March. And these are the days of communication with like-minded people, with those who are close to us spiritually, when, but when feelings pass to the second place. It's not the best moment to communicate with the family members. However, it's very important to establish the balance in our own inner world. Uh, and these days uh, of, during this transit uh, are perfectly suitable for public works, for repairs, relocation and or moving for purchase of communication and sound equipment. And finally, in the end of the week, uh, during the weekend, the moon will be in Pisces and we could feel that our compassion embraces the whole world. So there is a danger of attracting those who want to profit at someone else's expense, to our expense. Um, the best way to spend the end of the week is, uh, for example, to, to go for fishing, to have a walk outside of the town, especially close to the water, to do something creative, for example, go to the theater or to, the, uh, to a concert, or to do spiritual practices such as yoga and meditation. Thank you very much for your attention. I hope this information will be useful. I wish you a wonderful week and talk to you very soon. Goodbye.